rushing tonight. Sorry that come rushing in there. I'm so used to now to everybody doing their own intro that I completely forgot myself. So I wondered, about, I wondered what you were like. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't so know. sorry What's there. Happening? So anyway, so we have Karen Davies in the kitchen tonight. It's always exciting when she's in the kitchen. We always love what she's making, and we always love her mould. So everything is in stock. If there's a mould that I haven't got in stock, I will be probably placing another order with Karen tomorrow. So all you need to do is message me on Messenger, and I will um, get it ordered for you on tomorrow's order, just in case we haven't got that particular mould in. But otherwise, we're pretty much stocked up, aren't we? So we've got so. lots of goodies in. So it's going to be a great night. She's got some really pretty things. I don't know how she thinks them up. But they're great. So I'm going to go and sit over there. Um, just before I go, we've got Kim Firth in the kitchen. So if you do hear another female voice, it's not Simon high pitched. Okay. <laughs> Albeit he has told us about the stilettos he's going to be wearing on Saturday. Is not so. what I said. <laughs> no, it, it, it shows the key in the yeah. And then we've got Simon on camera. So Hello. let's have a great night, everybody. And um, enjoy yourself. And let's look at these fabulous molds and then we can get shopping afterwards. Yeah? Oh. Great. Thank Thanks, you. Karen. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. I'm sorry for leaving I, you like that. No, no, I just... Uh, <laughs> we're counting down here. What's happening? <laughs> a bit of panic. Um, yeah, so I've just been saying to Kim, I didn't know... I thought, what shall I start with? I need to... I haven't written a list, you know, because um, we've got the afternoon tea mould, the two new ones anyway. Yeah. The main ones we're doing tonight, which now, so to put it this way, is that okay? Yep. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I can, still can't do this. There we are. That's the new one of the new afternoon tea moulds. Um, so I'll be showing you lots of things off that, lots of ideas for decorating your cakes and some cookies as well. The cookies are really, really nice with this. And I was thinking this afternoon, because um, I've been using Carol's chocolate at the weekend, and I thought, oh, I need to do some ch some chocolate ones. It'd be really nice with this. And we, we can have a chocolate teapot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a saying, isn't there? Isn't as much use as a chocolate teapot, but that'd be really nice, wouldn't it? A little it would chocolate teapot. Absolutely, tea yeah, it would yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And then the other mould we've got is this new wicker heart. I like that. A little small heart. What um, did you think of that one? They're just everywhere, aren't they? Yeah. Wicker hearts. Yeah. They're really Crazy, popular in home decor, and I thought oh, we need them for cakes, yeah. don't we? Um, so yeah, that little wicker heart. It's got a little bow on and a little rose there, a little flower there. So we'll just show you one. Here's one in sugar paste. Okay, that's a pale gray, very pale gray. And then it's just been brushed over with white. I'll show you that in a few minutes, how to do that. And then we've got cookies made with the heart as well. So you mold your cookie dough, Love take them. it out, bake it, and then decorate however you wish. Okay, so you can see there, there's the baked cookie on the back. And it's just painted with white luster on the front and then Lovely. roses so and the bow. Yeah, so it's the, it's one of those moulds that's useful for lots of different things, isn't it? For engagements, weddings, yeah. anniversaries. I think they're ideal for engagements Valentine's and weddings and stuff. Day, oh, yeah, perfect. anything, you know, and there's so much you can do with them. It'd be nice actually with like little edge piped round or a lacy edge or whatever. So I think I might do, just do the wicker hearts quickly first. Well, a fantastic audience. Um, oh, 215 great. watching at the moment. So oh, hopefully lovely. a few more will come and join us. And they're all saying, mm -hmm. they're all saying hi and they all love the hearts. Oh. And they all love the teapot set. The oh, afternoon fantastic. Tea. Great. That's lovely. Lovely to hear. Okay, so I'll start with this heart. And just as usual, you know, put your cornflour in and tap it out. Now, the colours here are a little bit of a mess because I just grabbed everything this afternoon. Let's see, I've been busy. We had the photographer in yesterday, so it was just a bit chaotic today, getting ready, <laughs> like tidying up and everything. Uh, it was mad, so I just grabbed these colours. Usually I sit and mix new colours before I come. So this is our sugar paste. Carol's just got some more in stock, haven't you? The yeah, vanilla absolutely. and the marshmallow. I stay away from it. Oh. <laughs> so I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even have it in the kitchen anymore. Yeah. In fact, oh. actually, I'm lying because I'm sure there's a sneaky yeah. bag there in the kitchen. It's a bit more I'm trying gray. to ignore it. I've got a little bit more grey there to put on. I think that might be slightly too small. If you have not tried Karen Davies' sugar paste, it's amazing. <laughs> really very, very nice. Yeah, marshmallow or vanilla. So it is quite that paste now that I'm kneading. Um, it's not a sticky paste at all and you can get it, you'll see how thin you can get it when, I'm going to make a tablecloth later for a cake I've brought to put the afternoon tea on. So you'll see how thin I can roll that and it's still really strong. Well, show me cakes first actually. 
Oh, show sure. yeah, yeah, I usually do. I'm straight. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I'll show you what's straight coming in. later. Let's show you. That's what's what like a true yeah. salesperson. Straight in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not with it with the brush. Here we go. Look at this. Okay. Isn't this beautiful. So that's the first cake. I want to have a go at making that this year. Well, this one I can't wait. I mean, both of these cakes I'm going to show you now. I can't wait to do for Christmas. Mm. You know, in Christmas themed colours with yeah. silver and gold, red yeah. and green. Um, this is just a very pretty sort of afternoon tea one. Um, ooh, so you can, I mean, I've just done that to show different ways you can do the cakes. Yeah. You know, you can do different Love cupcakes. It. I did the matching teapot and cup, but I thought, so I'll just put lots of different cupcakes on and then put some cookies around the bottom there. There's um, party rings and custard creams. Love okay. Them. So you could actually bake your custard creams and your party rings and have biscuits instead of the you know the sugar based ones around the side. And later on this evening I'm going to show you how to make the tablecloth because that's nice and easy yeah. and it's so effective. It just looks um it's really nice. Isn't, isn't it? this beautiful everyone, isn't it? <laughs> it makes you want to do this one. This is going to be great for yeah. summer, isn't it? Yeah, well I love afternoon there's, tea. there's a jubilee in the summer, but yes, exactly. it just so happens. Ooh, I, forgot to get, I forgot to get sprinkles out, yeah. Oh yes, because yeah. yeah, later I'll yeah. um, use some sprinkles on there, the cupcakes, because I love doing those cupcakes. Yeah, so that is a really, really easy cake. And you know, and it doesn't have to be that big. You know, you could do a six inch cake with one teapot, one cup you know just do a small a small one as a gift for somebody yeah. for the birthday or whatever okay so there'll be more on that later so just to update you karen's um stocked up the website with stock so if you're looking for stock i have done the wish list we are on the sugar and crumbs platform so we are only advertising sugar and crumbs um, so everything's on the wish list if you if you're looking to buy any of karen's molds and if there's a mold that i haven't got just let me know i'm placing another order with karen tomorrow so i can get it then for you Sorry, I was struggling to pick that up then. I couldn't quite get, this get is a, a grip underneath. Cake as well. Okay, oh, so I don't know whether I'm distracting a bit there. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I think my blouse was a bit yeah. behind it, you know. Um, yeah, you can see it a bit clearer now. And if I sort of tilt it a little bit as well for you, there you go. You can see, just see some of the, the cakes there. Could zoom in a bit if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be good. I love that. Yeah. Um, this uh, this um, lace effect as well is is on the website. I've, st I've put the stock in, but I've I've realised I've not enabled it. So what I'll do is at the end of the live tonight, I'll run off and enable it. It's called Lottie Lace. Lottie Lace, I'm yeah. For Lottie Lace. It was my mother-in-law's name and my little granddaughter's name. So Lottie Lace. Okay. Um, now I'll explain this a little bit because it's sort of. You know, you think the first thing I wanted to do was a cake stand for these. When I made this mold, I thought, oh, I need a cake that's a cake stand. Mm. So that you basically, you know, you've got your big cake board on the bottom, and then I've got another cake board two inches smaller in the center of that, and I've put the lace around that. It's just to support it and make you know help it stand up because it, it would have been tricky just putting the lace on on its own. Um, and then your cake when you first cake your ten inch is it yeah. I can't think I'm not, I'm no good, I think that's four, yeah, it's a four, six and eight inch cake. So this cake here has got another cake board above it. So the eight inch cake has got an eight inch drum and then the lace is attached around the drum as well. You cover the cake board and um, put the lace around that drum as well so it supports that. And the same as you go up the cake, um, if we just zoom out a little bit on the cake there. Or up, so good, that's it, yeah. So you just do it for each tier, and then finally, you just finish with one round the top. And the handle, I'll give you a sort of a brief explanation of that later how to make the handle. Little that's it, silver handle at the top, okay. So, and you can arrange them however you want, you can do the matching, or I've just gone for everything <laughs> anything and everything on there mm -hmm. and I can only turn it so far because I haven't quite finished the back <laughs> so like tonight when I uh, demonstrate you know the, the uh, cakes and cups and teapots tonight I'll keep them to put on this and finish the back off because it would be nice if it was going round you know on a yeah. turntable battery operated yeah. turntable when we're at the cake shows okay so that's that one so I haven't brought quite as many cakes as I usually do um, because I haven't got that many of them made, to be honest. We've been so busy doing some um, stuff, some lots of new stuff. Um, so here I've just got lots of examples of what you, you can do. This way, yes. Yeah. 
Great. This, first of all, this, these are cookies. There's a few cookies there. Okay, now this is flooded with royal icing, this set here, and then just piped and decorated. And the little rose is actually on the mould, so you can use that to decorate your cookies or sugar paste. And then this one here, now this is Carol's, um, which one is it? The Wonder Dust Violet Mist. Oh yeah. But it's I've mixed it with a little bit of white as well. Right. Because when I, I did the spots, put all the little dots on first, and then I thought, I really want, because remember when I was here, I said, I love that colour, I really want, yeah. it, want to use that. But when I painted it, I thought, oh, it's just a little bit dark for the spots. I should have done the spots darker, and then it would have been perfect. So I just <laughs> added a bit of white to it. It was give a lovely silvery lilac colour, as you can see. Really pretty. Okay. Um, and they're just cut out with like a number four piping nozzle. Uh, there's some other cookies here. I'll bring these over. These we Is love. Is it called Lottie Lace? Or yes. Just Lottie? It's the Lottie Lace. Yeah. Now these, this set here, I've used the um, brush embroidery mould, the, the fern off the tropical leaves and the trailing succulent off the trailing leaves. And that's got, of course, the matching teapot and a cup. So things like this, when you know, if you do a set of three like this, these are great, you know, for fundraising, for sales, bake sales, gifts, you know, you can do them gift wrapped or in a nice little cake box. I think they make really lovely presents, or like I say, to sell um, for raising funds or whatever. And I'll just show you quickly. I know it's only March, but I'll show you my Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> my Christmas um, biscuits or cookies. There we go. I was dying to decorate a Christmas <laughs> set. It so again, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just one idea. It'll be here in no time. Anyhow. Yeah, that's just the the tree is on the mold, and then these are just sprinkles, little Christmas sprinkles that I've used, um, little like mini mini Christmas trees. <coughs> and the uh, red and white balls, okay? <clears throat> so that's quite nice. That's well, that looks fantastic, Karen. Really very nice. Yeah, they are nice, aren't they? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so is there anything? Oh, right, the cookies. Now, the custard cream, the, these are actual custard creams that I've made. There is a recipe on our website, but when I was sort of researching the recipes, I made a few, tried a few, and they were all quite different. <laughs> You know, the way they sort of worked with the mould. I, I even did a you chart. Should use, you should do our recipe. Oh, have you got one the custard creams? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I've known. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, I need to look. I need to have yeah. a go at that one. Yeah, and I've, we've stuffed them. when I was sort of thinking about how to, do, how to bake them, what to do, I did a chart, you know, with like butter, sugar, flour, eggs, milk, you know, custard powder, and, a chart, and then across the top, um, yeah, sort of down and made this chart and they were so different the recipes <laughs> so if you don't if you try our recipe um I mean, that's quite good but there are if you think oh no that's a bit too dry or a bit too whatever there, there's loads of recipes for custard creams out there that vary but carol has got a good one yeah so do look Works that one perfectly up perfectly well yeah do look that one up now the other one we've done is um these are just in sugar paste this isn't the cookie the jammy dodger sort of biscuit but I didn't put the, a pattern on it or anything. I thought, I'll leave them plain. Um, the Jammy Dodger ones, the actual biscuits, have like a splash on them. And I thought, with this, it looked quite childlike. It didn't look, I don't know, it just didn't look right. So I thought, I'll just do a plain biscuit with a heart in the middle. Um, but sometimes I cut that a circle oh, out. Look at that, yeah. Real paint. Show the, my really, really bad painting. <laughs> So I cut a circle ring. out and it's a party ring. So that's another reason I didn't put a pattern on that. I just left it plain yeah. so you could paint it as a party ring. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, and the centre of them, you can use, this is a cookie now, this one. Um, I just colour piping gel to put in the middle of them. Okay. So I think, yeah, there's only, there's a few more sort of sets I'll bring in to show you here. So, well, we've got an audience of over 250, it was up to 260. Emma oh. Harlem also said, Karen, you really need to stop making them. I have to no. buy them. <laughs> oh. No, she'll never stop making them. So oh. sorry, once you're in it, that's it, you're in it. Oh. Right, that one there, I just did a set with some, with strawberries on. You get two size strawberries on the mould. Yeah. Okay, so. That's just a very, very simple one. Okay, and then I decided 
um, a week or two ago. I thought I'll just do one in white, all in yeah. white. Yeah. Looks very elegant, doesn't yeah, it? it? Does. Yeah. yeah. So that's quite nice to do. Love okay. it. Um, oh, I know what I can bring in now to show you as well. I've got this nice silver tray. I couldn't That's resist. Very posh, isn't it? I couldn't Where resist this. Tray from? Um, there's a place on the Wirral. It's a, like a florist wholesaler yeah. called Inspirations, yeah. but they do lots of fancy like house decorations. Oh yeah, oh, it's lovely. It's yeah. So nice. I was gonna say. And we go in to get tray. all our photo props. Yeah. You know, like yeah. when we like photograph a cake, we'll have like flowers round it or whatever. We go yeah. there to get. Um, all our little bits and bobs and I saw this and I thought oh that's so nice <laughs> love it and so you might you'll see this actually real. yeah you'll see this on our photographs you know, on Instagram yeah. and things this tray and we put things it's you nice to it first. yeah line things <laughs> up along it or whatever yeah so there's just some of the different um, cupcakes and it's lovely I love doing these you know yeah. you can just um, I mean the cake stand would look lovely just full of cakes and biscuits yeah. you know? Absolutely. so yeah that's a really nice uh, nice one to do um, there's nothing I've missed, is there? Have you done those lat? cupcakes in the front there? Cupcakes? Did I, did I miss them? Oh, this one? No, these three here. Oh, the these, yes. Yes, shown I've shown them, the sorry. Brush, yeah, I've shown the brush embroidery. That's another one, a very simple one, just with the rose out of the mould as well, okay? Very simple. Yeah. I have to say they're all my favourite, but I really like those three in the well, front. At the end, I'm going to do the... three. Yeah, 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 I love yeah. them. I'll show you those, I'll do those. Um, in the dem, so I'm going to do the the hearts in a minute. Go back to doing that because I forgot, didn't I? Start but at the at the end, when I've shown you um, the afternoon tea mold, I'll show you and explain a little bit more about some of the ideas, the designs that are on the tiered stand yeah. with lots of different things on. Okay, Brilliant. so I'll show you just show you what you do with this. It's so easy, isn't it? So simple. So that's our sugar paste. And it's fine, I'm just re-kneading it. It was left out for five minutes. That's the one nice thing about your sugar paste, you can leave it out. It doesn't it dry very dry quick. Out, does it? No, 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 it Brilliant. doesn't. So we'll just flatten that down. There's too much there, but I'll show you how to take it off. So you just pop it into the mould and push it up into the heart, top of the heart. And then it's going to be easier, isn't it, to push the excess paste off at the bottom there and you just flatten it as you go make sure there's none going over the edge keep it flat level with the mold on the back and take it off I always just use my thumb a lot of people use a knife and I see people like rolling the paste in and things <laughs> and it's so small you don't need to roll it you just push it with your fingers okay and that's ready to come out so just turn it over and bend and it falls out like Fabulous. that okay very very easy and you've got a little rose on the top of that. There it is. Lovely. Yes. Now the rose, you could just do it in white and brush the colours on. But let's do two colours. So I've got some pink. So even on that little mould, you've got a couple of little bits on Yeah, there. I always... What's if there's, the other if one there? A little bow. Yeah. A little tiny there bow. If there's space, I'll put something, something <laughs> there. <laughs> so we'll just take a bit of that paste off. So I've just pushed the paste just into the flower. Okay. And then we'll put some green on the back. So I've lost my green. I have got it. I know I have. Ah, there we go. And I don't really need any glue. I think I'll just, uh, it'll stick to itself if I press hard. So I'll just make a point on the paste, put it in and press. And even though that's tiny, it doesn't matter how hard I press, that will come out. Okay, now it's not heavy like that, that it will just drop out. So when you bend it, you can see it's loose. Turn it over and I usually just flick it like that at the edge. Okay, and there you've got your little rose. Who noticed that little rose and bow on it? I, I haven't <laughs> noticed that. Oh. I'd only seen the wicker heart, I hadn't seen the other two bits. I only noticed it mm -hmm. just then. Oh, oh. yeah. It's really handy having the other little bits on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just does. Uh, Have a go. Just going to put a little bit of water in here have a sip of it. Mm -hmm. I said it was naughty, um, naughty on the way here and had fish and chips. Did you? So it's <laughs> salty and um, thirsty. Sandra, we don't have a recipe for custard creams. The mould, she used the mould to make the um, the look of the custard creams. But if you want to make the cookies for it, go on to our recipe website. So basically go to our homepage. Don't touch the link at the bottom, at the top, it's not working at the moment, mm -hmm. but scroll down, the recipe website's there, and just tap in easy shortbread, and that's perfect recipe for these moulds. Mm -hmm. 
the I mean the basic the custard cream recipes basically are just cookie recipes mm. but you add custard powder to yeah. them and a bit of vanilla yeah. essence or yeah. vanilla um, extract I should say and that, they just work really well okay so I've just mixed a little bit of uh, water into the powder white plain white powder and I've got a flat paintbrush and if you keep the paintbrush on its side and go across the top you just catch all that the wicker on the top and um, I'm just going to put a little bit more on I didn't want to put too much on at first in case the colour ran just make sure there's not too much on the brush there we go see it better now probably yeah, yeah. And that's it looks fantastic great you love, know, it. love that mm. <laughs> and the same if you do want to do like a brown like a, a light brown wicker you can do the same thing again just do you know light brown paste and you then can brush it with a bit paint of copper it. or a bit of gold yeah. Yeah. Oh, copper yes. would be nice yes it? it would be lovely it would and then mm -hmm. we go a little bit a tiny bit of glue on the top there and then just attach your flower if are. somebody can get a link to the recipe website, just pin it on here. Just um, share it on here with everyone. That would be great. Well done, Karen. So that's, that's lovely. really easy, isn't it? And you think, you know, those just round the sides of your cake with some flowers on the top. Oh. Um, I've got some cupcakes here. Oh, that's had an accident. I've just realised um, they I fell over in right. the van. Um, well, you've never I don't know where one. they've gone. But there's two roses missing. Just oh, there. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, so. so never mind. So there's another one, just in white. I've done that the opposite way around. I've done it a white heart and then painted over the top with silver. But yeah. it's maybe a little bit light for you to see, a bit pale. It's a plain one. I don't know why it's plain. I haven't done anything with it yet. And there's another one with the um, green. Oh, this is to match a cake that I didn't show you before. I forgot, didn't I? I didn't bring this over, did I? If anybody's friends with Donna Jeffrey, I've accidentally blocked her. I meant to be blocking the spammer <laughs> oh, and block Donna instead. So if somebody could just message her and tell her I'm rapidly trying to unblock her. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to go in my settings oh. down. Go on, Karen, carry yeah, on. Yeah, I forgot to show this cake before, didn't I? I was so carried away with the afternoon tea mould. So, yeah, this is just another, a really quick cake to do. I've just done driftwood round the bottom tier. When you use these moulds, these big big moulds like this, you can just cover the top of your cake with sugar paste and then use this as your side covering. Okay. And then I've just put hearts hanging around the side. This little um, string, would you call it, is off the macrame mould. That just works really well to hang, hang the hearts from. And then I've put two dried hearts on the top. Just kept it really, really simple. Sorry to interrupt again. Donna's on okay. blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Donna. <laughs> when she comes back, can we all give Aww. her a round of applause? Oh, I bet she wouldn't have what happened. I know. But she popped up a comment Aww. straight after the spammer, and I, yeah. I pressed him, and Aww. her name got it instead. Yeah. So, uh, bless her. <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple of, um, you know, they're great for doing cupcakes as well, cupcake tops. I know that I wouldn't normally put it on top like that, but just shows you that would look nice as a cupcake top. Um, we're not in a closed <laughs> group today. We're on the sugar and crumbs page. That's how they've got in. <laughs> right. So the other thing that you know, I thought, well, it's engagements, weddings, christenings, blah, you know, so on, so on. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you can always uh, turn something into a Christmas mold, can't you? By adding a little bit of holly. There you go. If you see those or stars. So the top one there, we've got a white heart with silver stars. And then the silver star with a gold bow and magic sparkles glitter on the edible glitter and then just a piece of holly on top i think that one's my favorite along with the holly and the sparkles yeah so there we go so that basically that's the heart there isn't much more beautiful. i can do with the heart well it's beautiful you, i think i actually think it's perfect for cookies yeah I do. yeah yeah I think it's the, the little cookies yeah. i think are lovely aren't they yeah. just really really simple do we all love it, everybody? Let us know what you think. There's been loads of positive feedback. Oh, good. Just to show you've had a bit of a dickhead spammer oh. in the middle of it all, oh. but never mind. Oh. And if anybody's seen Donna Jeffrey, can they message her? Or mm. if you haven't seen her, can you message her? <laughs> Tell her I'm really sorry. She just got caught in the middle of it all there. Mm. These things, things like this as well are great for, you know, the sweet tables and dessert tables people do. 
because um, yesterday when we had the photographer in, we were using like these little trays and putting on, like we'd have one, one mould, say it was this one, the Wicker Heart, and we'd have it on like some cupcakes. Then we'd have some um, moulded with chocolate, with your chocolate. It's mm. working really, really well, that chocolate. <laughs> it's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so then we'd have chocolate pieces. Um, we even had donuts. I saw some donuts down there. They're yeah. like the latest thing, all yeah. the decorated donuts. We had all different sort of things you can do with them. Um, or cookies, baked cookies, lots of different well, stuff. Well, loads of positive comments here. Oh. All massive fans of all your um, <laughs> your moulds. Oh, and thank nice you, Geraldine. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Nice to hear. Okay. Geraldine's messaging Donna. Poor girl. <laughs> oh. Right, so um, I'll go on to, I think I'll show you the lace edge around the, you know, this one here. Let's see if I can lift. Oh, there you go. I did it this time. I couldn't lift it before. Yeah, I'm going to show you the lace edge on here, the Lottie lace, okay? Because I think that's really useful, that one. Okay, to make it look like a cake stand. And Donna right. says, oh my God, I'm famous mm -hmm. at last. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you're ever going to be forgotten. Oh. Hey, binned off in a life, Donna. Hey, you've only binned oh. off, blocked, right in front oh. of it. Right in front of 260 people you were. Oh, oh. oh dear, she'll never live it down. <laughs> so I've got cornflour in the mould. I'm going to do this one in gold. because you, Because you've seen it in silver, I thought it'd be nice to do it in gold. Um, and use Carol's Wonder Dust. So, um, if I'm doing silver, I colour the paste grey, and if I'm doing gold, I colour the paste either pale orange, very pale orange, or yellow. It just gives a better depth of colour, I think. And if you miss slightly, it's less noticeable than on white, <laughs> which mm. that happens to me quite often. So, because this is a long, thin mould, I'm just rolling out this sausage of paste and thinning it out. It always helps to get a basic shape that's easy to put into the mould, rather than just putting a ball. I've done that, haven't I? Putting a ball on it and trying to press it in. Okay, so it could go thinner than that even, you know. So, put it in. Make sure your fingers aren't sticky, because although it's fantastic that the paste comes out so easy, Sometimes it's not, because if they stick to your fingers, if it sticks to your fingers, um, it's a nuisance, isn't it? But like I said, this paste, it does feel quite dry. It's not a sticky paste. If you haven't got this one, you can add Tylo or CMC powder to your paste, so it will work. Um, you do find different pastes can, you know, vary in their softness or, you know, the way they work. So a general rule, it's usually about a teaspoon, five mil spoon, to about 225 grams of sugar paste but like I say it could be slightly more could be slightly less depending on the paste there's so many pastes available I haven't tried them all because they only use mine mm. <laughs> that's the mold that is definitely yeah. my favorite yeah and has oh. been which one great the latter one the, no the, the mold the uh, the paste. paste oh the sugar yeah, paste. sugar yeah. paste oh I mean, you know that's my favourite, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, now that looks like it's going to be a nightmare to get out, but it doesn't. And, you know, you see, you do see people going round like this with them, don't you? But you don't with ours. You just turn it over, bend it back, and, oop, peel away. Yeah, Okay. Brilliant. Really, really oh, easy. it's been brilliant. Okay. Now, on the, on the cake there, I've, I mean, this is just a pattern. It doesn't go right through those lips, but if you want the holes, just take a piping nozzle. What size did it use? I think it might be a three. And I have to agree yeah, with you ladies. Three. Every live we've done on to the business page, we've been having spammers hacking uh, us. No. So, but, but we don't get it in the group, mm -hmm. you know, and the group's so much nicer. Oh. Right, so. We just cut out those holes, make it more lacy. Clever. You see the difference? Yeah. Did I do? Oh, I did underneath as well. You can yeah. you can do as many as you want because there's lots of different little markings on there. So let's go for it. Let's do this one as well. It's up to you. You don't have to. And every now and again, just do that too. <laughs> Take I was going to say, they're going to ash in a minute. Where, <laughs> I knew where they all are. Where, but I thought someone's going to ash in a minute. Where yeah. have they all gone? Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have started, should I? No. <laughs> That's it. Once you start, you've got to carry on. 
Oh, and I've gone a bit off centre there as well. Never mind. Just trying to be quick. So, Sheila, this mould is the Lottie Lace mould. It's been out for a long time, this It has. I used yeah, it on uh, one of Christine's classes when I did uh, the free oh, tier uh, yeah. corset yeah. cake with her. Oh. Just get rid of these spots. Squash them together. Okay. Right, so now some gold. Where's your gold? This one. Now, do you have some? Oh, yes, I can see. Let me just get some kitchen paper. I don't want it all over your nice paper. Oh, don't worry, we can get it on. Oh, they're good, aren't they? You can yes. just wipe it with tracks. Yeah. yeah, they are good. Now, first of all, I'll brush it on to show you what, what effect it gives. Then I'll paint it on. Um, I'll use that brush, did I? Or did I bring some? Okay. And if you paste, um, always brush it on while it's still soft. It'll stick better to the soft paste. So this mould, ladies, is on the website. It's in the wish list as well. And it's under brands under Karen. It's called Lottie Lace. Now, there's no image, okay? And um, that's while I was updating it on my phone here. I managed to delete the image. So I'll put it back mm. on afterwards. So there's only one picture of... There's only one mould of Karen's without an image. It's this one. <laughs> so so oh. I'll pop it on after. That's what happens when you're doing it with a mobile phone and big fingers. You bin, <laughs> don, you bin Donna out. You delete oh. a picture. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> now that looks really, really bright. Lovely, doesn't it? Because I was yeah. just going to say, like, I, I'm showing you the difference between We're using our bright gold. That's why it looks bright. Yeah, <laughs> I show you the difference between just brushing it on and painting it on because it always looks stronger and better painted. Yeah. But I, I can't imagine it would. It's just so good. It'll look brighter. Yeah. So I just missed a bit there. I could see it just missed slightly. Um, yeah. So there's hardly any waste there. It just brushed in really well. It's. Um, stuck to the paste really well the other thing you can do with this this lace not obviously not for this one and you probably could probably look nice you can stretch those frills so if you put your fingers either side gently and then stretch like that so when you put it if you use it around the sides of a cake you can get like a frilly like a edge yeah, yeah it's nice so anyway I've just press that flat for now and I'm just going to look gold finger yeah. <laughs> like, oh because I'm picking it up Right, so I'm going to mix with some Rejuvenator Spirit and then just paint. Oh yes, it is. Gosh, I need me sunglasses. Yeah, it's really bright, isn't it? It is lovely, isn't it? I need it? me sunglasses yeah. on. Oof. Gosh, yeah, that's really, really bright. But I'm just thinking this would be really nice for Christmas. <laughs> what are you saying? wishing Christmas on us? Oh, I, I was just... We've not even had our holidays no. yet. Oh, oh wishing Christmas on us. Oh. No, I'm just thinking, because I've got it in silver there, and uh, yeah. I'm, like I say, I'm going to do some Christmas, like afternoon tea, yeah. Christmas themed cakes. Gosh, that is really bright, isn't it? It's lovely. Okay. So that's... I'll have to do my easy Christmas cake now, is, is this one. So that would go round, you know, on the where I said you put the cake board, the cake drum on top. Just put a piece of um, greaseproof paper, the same size as underneath, you know, just make sure everything's sort of clean you're putting the base of the cake drum under and you can't it's, it's paper isn't it because when cake drums when i use them for a cake i always clean them off mm. with some rejuvenator spirits or something it's, it's surprising sometimes if they've been sat on a shop sh mm. shop shelf can't say it shop shelf for a while they get quite dusty so i clean them or whatever but this one i thought oh i'm putting the bottom i can't it's paper underneath i can't really clean it so i just put a circle of greaseproof paper between the cake the top of the cake and the drum that this is going to go round okay so yeah just stick it around the edge with edible glue did you sing a song just now did you sing a oh. little tune just then oh i so did, did a very bad gold finger oh did you yeah. <laughs> oh, right. okay. awesome. didn't really Marianne sing Frost, Frost, i didn't know oh. you could sing Karen. oh i can't <laughs> so when i'm reading comments i don't hear what's going on doesn't it okay oh Oh, yeah. So look at me. See, so I'm covered in it now. Now I've lost me a uh, dish. Oh, it's in my dishcloth. Wipe my fingers. And just clean this away. Okay. Oh, I know. I was going to explain about the handle as well. Let me explain about the handle while I've got that paste there. Um, right. The top. You, you remember the top of the cake had a handle on. Where did I put? Oh God, put my lollipop stick somewhere here. What I use for the handle is a lollipop stick. And now this I made last minute, so it's not really dry. I put it down. I put it down on the table there. 
I made a piece of paste, just rolled it into a thin sausage, the same width as the stick, and what I did, I went over with a smoother. Ooh. So when, imagine that straight, it was there and I rolled it, so they were the same thickness, okay? Yeah. And then I just shaped it so it would fit like this. And mm -hmm. then, um, I'm gonna, I might just re-roll this. I'm not gonna do the whole, the whole thing, it take too long, but it just gives you an explanation. I only need... They're laughing at you, because she's going, Christmas, oh my God. <laughs> and then they're laughing at you going, I know it's early, but Karen seems excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not really, no, not yet. <laughs> I, do, I think, um, I do like doing Christmas cakes. <laughs> I think they're my favorites, Christmas cakes. There's, there's so much you can do, isn't there? Yeah. With them. Right, so yeah, I just need a thin piece of paste here. And I'm just gonna press it in. Make sure I'm not too sticky. I switched that oh, did you rock turn it before because it, it was here and I was hot. Right. So just it's fine. Well, Sorry. Nice to me, I'm good. <laughs> oh. I've got my blankets over there actually. So yeah, I'm just pressing that paste in. I'm trying to keep it even thinner than the mould normally allows me to, you know, making it really thin so it'll wrap around that lollipop stick. So take that off at the end and take that out. Then you basically just glue the back here. I think what actually I did last time, I'm just it's coming back to me now because I've only done this once before for that cake. I'm thinking, what did I do? <laughs> it's yeah. mad when you panic, isn't it? You go yeah, to show somebody something and right. think, actually, what did I do? I left this stick out like that so it will go into the cake, so it will sink into the cake. Okay. And then it's quite tricky this because this isn't dry, if it, yeah, it's bending, it's gonna break any second. If that was dry, I added tie lo loads of tie load to that to you know set mm. it hard, but I only made it this afternoon. So it's going to break. You just wrap the lace around it. Ooh. So you'd fold it round. Okay. Is this for your candy cane? It's for the top, for the handle. Ah, right, okay, okay. so it's not quite light, it's too big the thing anyway. But that's basically what you do. It's a bit like Kim's shoe class, you've got to leave things to dry. Yeah, it's not, because it wasn't yeah. ready. That is a very bad example, and I'm getting rid of it quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ignore but that. That's what you do anyway. That's how I did that. I covered the top with the, with the paste from that mould. Okay, so I'm going to clear that away, and I'm going to show you now how to do the tablecloth for the top of the other cake. I did some of this. If anyone has any questions. No, nope, they're all entertained by ask. you wishing Christmas on. Oh dear. I know. We're, we're all trying to forget about it. <laughs> right, so let's wipe away some of the gold or I'll have a gold tablecloth as well. Okay, so I'll just show you the cloth again quickly. Oh, there we are. Okay. I love that. Yeah. So it's very, very easy. So the little biscuits that you've done on there, very yeah. pale. Is that sugar paste? Then? Yes, they're, yeah. they're all sugar paste. So they're sugar yeah. paste treats, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Right, what I should have done was give this towel to hold. <laughs> While I was doing that, so it was soft. Might have been on that. Hey, oh, oh, oh no, maybe it wasn't. I've been eyeballing it while it's here. Oh no, maybe yeah. not a good idea yeah, then. Look at it, look at it. I don't know. Nervously. Um, <laughs> I don't know what flavour it is. Well, Margaret Kirk says she always taste tests it first, just to make sure it's all right. Yeah, you've got you know, to. Take yeah, a one yeah. for the team. You've got I'll to. I'll do a bit for the team now. Just check yeah. it's all right. You've got to. Right, so I'm just kneading this to get it soft. That's why I was saying I should have um, got Carol to warm it up a little bit. Now, is that enough? Probably is. Now, where have I put my rolling pin? Oh, there it is. The grey blends into my grey basket. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a large rolling pin? I anywhere? do. Yeah, just up there. Ah, oh, is it down there? No, I can see it here. Is it a There's two sizes. Oh, God, it's huge. <laughs> yeah, there's two sizes, there's 20 inch and 24. Ah, right. Is it okay? It's, it's absolutely great. Yeah, are you sure you've got enough to make a definitive judgment? Yeah. I don't know, that's probably... I've got the whole block. <laughs> Gosh, they're heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so heavy. Might give her this tiny bit, Mark. 
I'm going to. I'm going to pinch some. I'm going to get some more. Not sure what you're doing. Don't fold it over and stick it on that side. Right. Let me just put that in as well. Don't want to suddenly realise I haven't got enough. I'd rather have too much than uh, not enough. Okay. Right. This is where I get nice and hot now. This paste is really good for doing, you know, making this is really for your pink cake at the back. Really. Pardon? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really good for making really thin things, thin items, you know, for clothing, um, whatever you need, anything, th you know, thin. It's quite strong. So, keep turning it, lifting and turning it. Now it won't stick to these to the non-stick boards, it just peels up, but because the paste is getting thinner and softer, it can sort of stretch a little bit. It's doing really well at the moment, but I'm going to go so thin with it. I've turned it over because the top's a little bit drier. So anybody who's interested in non-stick boards, we haven't got any left. Oh. <laughs> Everybody grabbed them after buy they grabbed them. I am hoping to get some more, but at the moment um, the supplier is not buying them simply because the price has gone through the roof. Mm. And um, he's That's actually asked the suppliers now three times and he thought, I'm not asking them again because they're going to really put the price up. So, mm. um, so we're just going to leave it for a few months, see how things settled, and then we may stop them again. So the actual supplier manufacturer isn't actually making them. It's just so tricky, isn't it? Because yeah. costs of everything's gone up. It's like, it's horrendous. Right, see, now normally when you're rolling out, you're keeping it in nice and <laughs> neat and tidy, but because this is so thin, I can't push push the edges in. But I've nearly got the size I want anyway. But really, I want it thinner. Right, now... I'll explain now about the cloth at the top. I've cut out a paper pattern. I know that's big enough. This cake is four inches deep. Okay. So that paper pattern for the for the cloth, because this is tall, and and you know you're going to have whatever you put around the sides. So you decide what uh, if you're having the cookies or you want teapots around the side. You need to think about where your cloth is going to fall. So how big you want it. Because your cake might be really shallow. So you might just want the cloth to go right to the edge and not hang over. Or you could have a really tall cake so you want it over more. So bear in mind the height of your cake. Okay. Put that back. And put that on and find a cutting wheel and take that round sometimes I do this I cut it out and then I think when I look at the edge I think oh it's still too thick and then I roll again for a little bit I just went a bit wonky there so that can go at the back nobody <laughs> noticed nobody <laughs> noticed <laughs> So great audience tonight. So those who missed it, this is Karen Davies in the kitchen showing you her new moulds. If you're looking to buy uh, Karen Davies, Davies moulds, she's advertising on our platform tonight, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Go to the top of the page and there's an FB Live wish list. Drop into there, drop into March, drop into Karen, or you can go straight to Brands. So everything's in there for you. And um, if we've run out of stock, don't worry. I am placing another order with Karen tonight. So, or if there's something you want that I don't sell, just let me know via Messenger and I'll add it onto my order and I'll chat to you tomorrow about it. Right, I am going to put a bit of cornflour on the board because when I've picked that up then, I've sort of peeled it off. It's not stuck, but the paste, because it's so thin, has stretched right. slightly. But doesn't that just show how nice your paste rolls as well? Yeah. Rolls yeah. Well yeah, it's not stretched that much, no. but I think it'll just be a bit better. I think with you that can see it, and nobody else can, Karen. Yeah. Shut up. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody else can see it. Can you see it, Kim? No. No. Can you see it, Simon? I can't um, see anything. <laughs> can't see anything. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh. No, I can't see any. No, you can't see the stretch, can you? No, I can't no. see any stretch. 
No, but um, I've just, I'm going to roll that and cut it again because I think Super it's, paste. Yeah. it's nice to have it really thin because it just looks more like fabric, it looks really yeah. delicate. Okay. And when you roll like that, you know the way you sort of roll like this? Yeah. Try, try and just do big long rolls, okay. And you can even, you can smooth with your rolling pin as well for a final finish. Right, I'll just get this back, let's see. Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, is no. it? Turn it over actually because the paper is sort of curled a little bit. That's better. It's nice and flat now. And just go around again. Take that off. Yep. Do things like this and you try and go sort of quick so it's not boring for people. But then you go a bit wonky. <laughs> so forgive anything you do see. There we go. I'll do. So the first thing I'm going to do is frill the edge. Okay. Yeah, oh, thank you. I'll definitely put one in. I'm looking for a veining tool. I know I'll put one in. There it is in the middle. Do you sell these veining tools? I do, yeah. Oh, good. These are brilliant. You know, when I started off, I think Marion, if you're still watching, Marion taught me to do frills and garret frills <laughs> in her class. Sure. Only a few years ago, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Not saying how long ago. I am going to put a little bit of cornflour underneath there just to keep movement going. Um, yeah, so you could you can use like a cocktail stick or the end of a paintbrush and roll, but these are better because um, well they give a little bit of texture and the they don't really stick. She says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm just putting it up about. It's less than a. That's about a centimetre, isn't it? So a bit less than a centimetre, probably half, three quarters, and you just roll. But when you've rolled, lift the paste. Okay. Because if you carry on, you'll end up with a pleat and it'll stick together. So just flatten it down again and roll. And then you can turn it as you go. So really, you're sort of pulling that frill back. But I don't know if you can see how thin that is on the camera, but it does look really, really no, you can see it. delicate. Yeah. I'm just going to go halfway round. Because you're bored now. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. I'll do it. I don't mind. <laughs> I love frilling. I think it's quite therapeutic. It's really very pretty. Yeah, though. it's it's very therapeutic. You've actually done a nice, neat job of that. Ah, thank you. So yeah, I'll just do half because you won't see the back off. <laughs> and Marion said she is still around, and it was about oh, five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. That's it. Well, that's not long. When no. we were twenty-six. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like five minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, Jay McDougall spotted me. Carol, step away from the sugar paste. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So. You sort of, it's funny, isn't it, how you do these things, and then you think of a better way. So there, I'm rolling it, and then just pushing it back with the stick. Oh, I've got myself a new little technique there. Nearly there now. You'll show Marion this one. Yeah, I'll teach Marion this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's anything we could teach Marion. No, she knows so everything. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah, she is really good. So, yeah, just keep rolling. Well, Tiny says she loves this technique and mm -hmm. she's met you at one of the cake festivals Aww. before COVID. Aww. What a lovely, helpful lady you are. Oh, gosh. And <laughs> Is she sure says, it was me? <laughs> you always love her. They must be hearing me eating the sugar paste. Uh. Can they hear me eating it? No, they just know. Mm. <laughs> I did say take it away. It's a safe bet. <laughs> but it is. Very yeah, oh. <laughs> especially the marshmallow. So yeah, I'm going to stop in a minute because I think that's enough. Okay, we've gone. It's more than halfway. So next thing is stitch wheel. You don't have to do this, but I just think it looks nice. Just finishes it off. It does finish it off. Yeah, just run that round. Yeah. Right on the edge of the frill. And I mean, when you look closely at that, it's not perfect, but this sort of helps it, helps disguise any... Oh, that's how I've been sussed. 
I need a quieter packet. <laughs> <laughs> Noisy cellophane. I'll see what I can do about the yeah. packaging, Carol. <laughs> so you can have sneaky treats. Plus they know me well. Hmm. Okay, nearly there. That'll do. Okay, so pretend that's right the way round. Okay. That was pretty. But it's really delicate, isn't it? Really nice. Mm. It makes the film look as though it's detached. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Was, yeah. And but that paste as well, like years ago I used to use like sugar paste with some maybe some tile or gum paste in or something. But it was hard not to rip it, you know, mm. hard not to but it doesn't, it doesn't rip, it's really good. Um, right, the pattern. What size nozzle did I use? Was it a number two? I think it might be a number two. I have to check the hole and paste. So you can do whatever pattern you want, but I just think it's easy just doing three little dots together. So far apart, however, you know, you can do them as close as you want. You can do the holes as big as you want. But it, it's um, quite quick and easy. What can you see? What? What can you see on there, you two? What can I see? Yeah. Then what, no, what was the problem? I was just reading. We were reading something. Oh, was you reading the comments? Is there a spammer back on again? No, no. <laughs> <Right>. Okay. <laughs> No, it, there's some strange people watching tonight, Karen. Oh, no. I keep seeing them pop up. Does oh. everybody else see them as well? Ooh. So, um, mm. we were catfished the other week. Were well, you? Yeah. Why yeah. <laughs> are you chatting you up? No, no, no. Cat. <laughs> it's an expression, isn't it? For some, I can't even remember where it was. They did. Oh, they caught the uh, they copied one of our posts, competition posts, and it looked um, like our we page. Had that done, yeah. Just, we have that done. Mm. That's why I don't like posting anything, anything mm. because if it's anything like you've won the strange sugar people. and crumbs, yeah. yeah, or do anything like that, then mm. I'm worried that they'll, they'll think I'd rather just shout it out. Mm. But you can soon get them blocked. <laughs> so that's good. But the thing is, wait till they copy your website, mm. and then they, they use they they just. You always notice it's a copy website. It hasn't been spelt properly. <laughs> like they might put Karen Davies as all I remember one word. that when we were in a, a market in Hong Kong or something. Um, all the fake handbags. Yeah. And the Jimmy Choo sign was upside down or yeah. something. <laughs> something yeah. stupid. Yeah, there's always yeah. something. <laughs> right, so I've nearly done. I thought I'd just have to do the... Because you can see the, all the top of the cake. No, that's so. great. It looks very effective on the camera. They're not very, again, they're not you very, don't get your ruler out <laughs> and measure Doesn't them. Doesn't matter. Because, uh, well, once you've got all your bits on, nobody's going to know any of Yeah, them. that'll do now. There we go. Because you're not going to see this back bit here. So, cake now. Now, you would think now you have to glue that on, wouldn't you? You'd think, right, brush the top with glue and put it on. Don't. Whatever you do, don't. That's a big mistake because if you put that on and you think, Oh, that's it, yes. Oh, no, it's not. It's not even. Oh, no, it's you're going to stretch it and everything. Yeah. So this now, because it's not stuck, you can just sort of slide it around. I think that's quite... That's okay, yeah, actually. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's okay. And it's funny the way it falls. It always mm. seems to just fall nice, quite nice. But you can change it. You know, you can make the folds closer together, how, you know, however you want them. Just go round and arrange them okay but Very usually nice. it falls quite naturally but if you're putting things underneath you might want the frills exactly the same size apart you know distance apart so you can space out your cookies or whatever okay so I'll just turn that a little bit more because that's it yeah so there you oh. go so that's nice and easy that's isn't it for your yeah. um for you cakes to go on and then would you glue it or just leave it no i leave it yeah i would leave because it, it well, sets yeah. it sets like that yeah. so and it doesn't slide anywhere you know yeah. and also i i worry that it's so thin you might see glue coming through the holes yeah. or anything so so yeah just but leave it, looks it now lovely. they love that yeah it's nice nice and easy to do okay so now we start on the mold so where have i put it oh it's here isn't it um, I might do cookies. So I'll do cookies first. How are we now? The timer, okay. Right. It's that hour's gone so quick. Oh. It's flown. Right. Um, cookies. I'm hoping this is okay because normally it would be in the fridge. Um, if I just mould, shall I just mould a teapot? Yeah. I won't do all of them. 
because we want to do. Do you need to put that in the oven or have you got one ready made after? No, I've got ready made. Yeah. I've got here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so here's the cookie dough. Carol has got a recipe on her site. So for that, uh, just so that I can ask, that's basically the same size as the board, that circle, isn't it? The tablecloth. Yeah, it is with yeah. that, but it depends what board you put it on. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a bigger board, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, if, you, and the depth, yeah. the height of your cake as yeah. well. So it yeah. really depends, you know. Yeah, well, what they're trying to work out there is, so yeah. is that a 12-inch board with a 10-inch cake? Um, Looks let's like see. it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a 12-inch board with a 10-inch cake. Yeah. Yeah. So if they do a 12-inch circle, they'll be fine, won't they? Yeah, but it depends on the height of the cake. You see, oh, that's right. a four inch cake. If yeah. your cake's three inches, that cloth would be lower then. Yeah. So you've got to adjust it to yeah. the height. So it's okay, whatever yeah. whatever the diameter of your cake is, plus, like say you want an inch down, so it'd be plus two inches, oh. wouldn't it, the circle? Yeah. Because yeah. some cakes will be tall, some cakes will be short. Right, so I'm putting the cookie dough in. Pressing hard. This has been out of the fridge for a while, so it might be slightly soft. Um, as the dough sort of cracks, putting it in, just press it together really well, and then, <coughs> excuse me, then the cracks shouldn't be there when it comes out. <coughs> oh, that was a good guess. Oh, slightly need a little bit more, maybe. When I mould, I wanted to show you moulding the cookies and moulding the sugar paste because you'll see that I've kept the handle solid on the cookies because if I take the paste out of the handle, so you know, so it looks like these, the way I've done the sugar paste ones, when you bake them, the handle will burn and be really dark. So it's better to keep that gap filled in. Okay. Right, let's go for that, try and get it out. Hope it's not too soft. <laughs> so just turn it over. Oh yeah, look, it is soft. Handles come yeah, off. Yeah, but you can repair that there. Yeah, just stick it together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just soft. Yeah. The dough's soft because it's quite warm. So in just put your dough in the fridge. Yes, the dough should have been in the fridge. That's been out since I packed it about two o'clock this afternoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why it's just a bit soft, okay. So that shouldn't happen. Okay. Don't worry. No. We make them all the time. They've seen us make it. They know yeah, it works. Yeah, they do work. Right, yeah. so I've just popped that in the oven. And yeah. out it comes. Okay. okay. that on it. Yeah. Well done. So let's do a little set, shall we? Okay, so we've got cupcake, cup. So who came up with this idea for this mould? You or Alice? I think it was me. Oh. Can't remember. Um, Sheila, just go into the search and write. What's it called? It's called tea set. This isn't it? Afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. Not tea set. Just put mm. afternoon tea <laughs> in the search button. Afternoon tea. Yeah. Okay. So I think because this set's popular, isn't it? The one with the flowers on. I'll make this. I'll show you the. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, so shall I do it slightly different colours or not? I think actually I've only got those. Yeah, it's going to have to be the same colour flowers. So Claire, when we've done it, once we've dropped them out of the mould, we put them on a baking sheet and we put the baking sheet back in the fridge for 15 minutes and then we bake after that. If you follow our recipe on our website, our sugar and crumbs mixing it up, I'll go and find the recipe link now. Um, it's such an easy recipe, we've shown you all loads of times how to do it. And it's perfect for Karen's moulds. So I'll just go and find it myself a minute mm -hmm. and then I'll give it to you. Right, I think I'll do pink spots today and silver handles. Okay, so um, let's get a brush, some rejuvenator spirit. Start to paint them. So I'll still do spots on the cupcake top to match. It's gonna be flowers at the top, so I'm going to just leave that so it's quick. And then on the cup. And I don't know who changed the wording for the recipe. It used to be called easy shortbread, but somebody's called it flavoured shortbread. So mm -hmm. uh, I think some, somebody at one point has been on the website and changed it to that. I'll be changing it right back mm -hmm. tomorrow to easy shortbread. <laughs> okay, very quick. 
so don't look if they're again if they're not neat <laughs> so I've just put the recipe there so you can get it and I'll just pin it now and this recipe is perfect for all Karen's moulds yeah it's very easy isn't it okay so I've done the spots now I'm going to paint the silver So it's pinned to the bottom. So I've got your flash silver now. Let's see what this looks like. Flash silver? Yeah. Is it as bright as the gold? Is it called flash silver? I think so. Flash yes. Flash, it? yes. Oh, it's fake. I healed that one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. that was yours. I've picked no, it up no. by mistake. Yeah. Oh. I was going to say flash silver is bad. I think you gave yeah. me that one. That's yeah, why it's I did with... years ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Don't worry. They're, they're the same containers as our original ones, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Do you still stock that or no, not? No. We do our so, what's your now. equivalent? Do you want me to use yours? No, no. crack on. No, no, our silver's the equivalent. Yeah, same sort yeah. of depth of colour and everything. Yeah, so just paint across and then the handle. It's funny how, like, when I first did these, I was thinking, oh, it's not going to look right with the paste, with the handle filled yeah. in but you don't even notice no, you to be don't honest notice, once no. you decorate them you don't notice these would be nice for mother's day as well that's in a next sunday isn't it was well, it mother's day next sunday isn't yes it? Right. we've got alice's children's christening it's my mum's birthday and it's Mother's Day on ah. the same day. <laughs> yeah, my mum's 85 next week. Is she 85, bless her? She, yeah. she made me laugh on your 60th video. Oh, yes. I've never laughed so much. <laughs> Not getting her words out. <laughs> She's always like that. I've got another clip I'll play you later, actually. Yeah. I've got another one you'll like. You'll love it. You'll love it. So um, Alice's daughter did um, a video of people sort of saying um, happy birthday to Karen and a few words. And it was brilliant, actually. It was put together. But Karen's mum just couldn't get the words out. She couldn't remember she's what she laughing, had to say. wasn't she? Just yeah, laughing. laughing. And Alice had to keep prompting her what to say. <laughs> and then she stopped and said, what did you say? I just said. <laughs> Okay, go on. I feel as though I have those conversations with Wallace all the time. <laughs> Especially when Wallace has got to talk to Alexa. But my mum's got a better memory than me. She's like, she, she, I think she just thought, because she, she knew she was being filmed, yeah. she was like a bit embarrassed, <laughs> so couldn't say it. Uh, right, nearly there. The only thing I haven't done is painted the cupcake case, but I might just leave that because... Uh, You'll be a bit bored watching all this painting. So I agree with Karen. These are going to make lovely decorations for the Queen's Jubilee. So mm -hmm. uh, they they've been lovely, won't they? So when you're handing all these out, whether you're putting them on the side of your cake or whether you're handing them out as biscuits for your neighbours, as treats, stuff like that. Is anybody having their uh, street parties? I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. They're People. hiding doors. Yeah, lock the door. <laughs> No, it's a bank holiday, isn't it, as well? A special, yeah. special bank holiday. When I said I wasn't painting the cupcake, I've just done the lines in between, just to do it quick, okay? Just for something quick. Right, and now I they want to great. spray, just spray luster on. I'm going to put paper down again. It just go everywhere, doesn't it? When you're doing spray luster, put, put your items into a box that has a lid. And then once you've sprayed, put the lid on quick. <laughs> I'll do this close and quick and hopefully it won't do too much damage. Oh, I did go a bit too quick there. Too close on the cup. But there you go. Because it's porcelain, it's got to look shiny, hasn't it? <laughs> okay, so they're ready now for the flowers. I love the smell of that stuff. I do, I love it. Do you? I, I, I love it. I love it. Barry hates it. Does he? he hates oh, it. God, He's like, oh, thing. what's that horrible smell? It's, it's vanilla. Though. It's lovely. Mm. But if it's a motorbike exhaust, it's beautiful. No. <laughs> no, don't agree with him then. No. <laughs> okay, so, right, we'll do some flowers now. Flowers and leaves. 
So we've got, there's a few moulds you could use. You've got like buttercream flowers. Um, but the one I like to use is the brush embroidery because it's got quite a few small flowers on with quite, a, they've got nice detail, you know, with the brush, the brush strokes on them. Yeah. So I've got some colours here that will do. So if I just mould flowers as quickly as possible, Now, although we've got some tiny ones there, I like that one there, the middle of this, like it's like a double flower. So, if I just put a piece so in the Carol, middle. Carol Gassenby says, do you do the same with the wedding mould like you're doing with this one? Yes. Exactly the same. You can, yes. The All wedding cookie. All Carol's moulds work exactly the same. Yeah. And that is, Amy, yes, it's just Wonder Dust and Rejuvenator that Karen's using to paint on the biscuits. So you see I've just put paste into the middle. When that comes out, if there's any coming over, I'll use a Dresden tool. That's not bad, actually. I was going to say I'll use a Dresden tool. But that's good if you dry that in, in like a shape, you know, like a piece of, um, what do you call it, dimple foam or whatever. It's uh, it, They dry really nice then to have a little bit of shape on them. Yeah. Um, I'll do another one of those, I think. In the same colour. Is that a bit too much? So I'll just pop that into the middle. I'm doing a live next week. If you want, um, you can do it with me if you want on Thursday. I'll actually show you how to make the recipe of the biscuits and use Karen's mould. And if you want, we can do that. We can bake, we can all bake the biscuits together mm -hmm. and decorate them together next Thursday night if you fancy. There we go. So I've got two of those. And I'll change colour. We'll have a dark pink. And if it's like this little tiny flower, I don't keep patting in the corn flour. If you have a little bit on your table, and then just rub the paste a bit and then put it in. Neat little trick. It saves, otherwise you end up with so much corn flour, don't, or I do anyway, it's like <laughs> clouds of it everywhere. So the name of this mould is Brush Embroidery, this one. I love this. This is another one you can do a lot with. Yeah. You know, and there's big panels of flowers here as well. Yeah. These are quite nice to uh, cover cakes with. Right, so you all like that idea. So what I'll do is I'll post up in the group. So should we do it in the group or should we do it in this page? So <laughs> so uh, we'll, do, we'll talk about that afterwards. But I'll post up the recipe anyhow so you can all get the ingredients and then we can make them together. Um, you, you'll have no problems making them and having them cool ready. Because what we can do is we can make sugar paste decorations while we're doing things. Right, that'll do. There you go, that'll be promoting your cup more yeah, for you. Yeah, brilliant. Well sweet. done, Carol. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like using your moulds for the cookies and that. We use them all yeah, the time. In fact, there's half a bag of cookies they. left in yeah. there, isn't there? Oh. Just getting a few of these now. Good. Well, you all seem to like that. So, and then just let me know what you think. Should we do it in the group where we can keep it nice and private with us lot? <laughs> no spammers. <laughs> No, they've spoilt it for themselves, those spammers. Yeah. <laughs> They're not seeing any more. So if we do it in the group, it's the Make It, Bake It, Decorate It group. And to be fair, on Thursday I can make a load. So uh, why am I going to make a load? I don't know. She <laughs> <laughs> can. Yeah, she can. Oh. Well, my daughter will be over from Australia, so where are the kids going to oh. eat <laughs> Great now, isn't it? You can go backwards and forwards to yeah, Australia. Yeah. Oh, great. How long is it since you've seen her? Uh, I can't remember if it's three years, oh, years or four oh years. God. Yeah. Oh, wow. Long yeah, I'm looking for a month. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Oh. Right, I'm only going to do one more of these and then I'm done with the flowers and I'll show you a couple of quick leaves. I think it's looking like that the group is going to win. The group is lovely. If you're not a member of the group, you really are missing out. The group is absolutely lovely and you do make savings in there, especially with your classes as well. So, um, you know, really consider about using the group. The group's fabulous, the Make It Bake It group. Right, I want a couple of fern leaves. I'm not gonna do the whole leaf, obviously, no. a bit big for these. I just want some little pieces off the end there so you just put a little piece of paste in and press into the end and take it out 
And again, little piece. You can use the melted chocolate in Karen's moulds, but they don't come out shiny. It's a different type of silicone, so they won't come out shiny in it. And they'll come out firm, you won't be able to bend them. They are so good. I've just what? done the, your chocolate. Oh, okay, um, actually, they do come out shiny with our chocolate, don't they? they? Well, what I find, they don't come out mega shiny, no. but they're, they're quite smooth. Like, when I, yeah. if I melt other chocolates, like Calibo or whatever, cause, yeah. and even if you, um, what do you call it, temper, temper it and everything, it's yeah. still, because they're not proper chocolate moulds, you're yeah. not going to get a glossy finish. Yeah. But yours gives a better finish yeah, than any. Yeah, I remember saying that before. Yeah, and it's, it, it melts. Um, quite thin yeah. so when you're putting like someone did the other day um had some very small eyes to do and things so I just yeah. cut the end off the bag tiny yeah. filled in the eyes and that um, but it because it runs thinly it runs into everything yeah and then it didn't take that long to dry and it was so easy peeling the mold off because it was really hard the chocolate it was mm -hmm. lovely really good well we're going to be giving it a new name now it's going uh. to is yep. there, we're just waiting for the end of the stock. I think we're out of white chocolate now. Yeah. And I think we're out of the dark. Mm -hmm. So I've just got to get rid of the milk and then we're going to change the name to Melt and Pour. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good name because that's what it does. <laughs> it's basically, <laughs> is it? Isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Cameron, I've got a question from Jill Ooh. Cook. Um, yeah. Oh, hi, Jill. You, <laughs> do you have a farmyard's animals mold, please? Um, we do. do. You? Yep. Yes, animals, we, do. Yeah. we do. We do. We do. I will message you tomorrow, Jill. Okay. Right, so. Oh, I'm not doing that. I've done that now. I've done that one. Uh, uh, Paul has used it on the woodland animal mould and it worked really well. Yeah, it will. The chocolate, yeah. Yeah, it will. Oh, can't wait to show you what I made yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Easter treats. <laughs> when are you coming back in here? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Soon. Get you booked in. Yeah. Right. So this one now, I'm, I've got the trailing leaves and I'm just doing some of the trailing succulents. And I've changed the shade of green, just made it a little bit darker, just so it's not the same as the, um, the fern leaf that I've just done. And I just want one more of these, maybe one or two. So just push that in. So you see, when you do little tiny pieces, that's all you need. And I don't even put any petal dust on these, nothing at all. All I want to do is paint the centres of the flowers with silver. You're doing a demo day with Marion, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I'm going to that. So yeah. Madge, what you need to do is, is contact Marion or Karen. I've got a lady on YouTube yeah. wanting to know how oh. she's going to pay for it. We can't tell Marion. Yeah. Go, yeah. We've got to Marian. go to Marion for us at Patrick Cutters for a demo day. So remember, we're on the Sugar and Crumbs platform, so we can't answer any questions for other pla other platforms. So if you remember, Karen's in the kitchen demoing her products for Sugar and Crumbs. So we're just promoting that. Um, what you're, anybody who wants to ask anything about other people, you need to go direct to their website and ask them. But that question was for Marion Frost. Was it? Yes. She might still be here. <laughs> she might have gone by now. We don't know. So, <laughs> she's actually put the whole question. Can mm -hmm. you email me and can you send me Aww. an invoice for 50 quid? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's keen. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So. Right, okay, so. I'm going to attach these now to the cakes. Now I have got some royal icing here. I just need a little piping bag. Now this royal icing is, it should still be okay. I think I made it last week. <laughs> so Sheila, if you have too much on your mold, always put less in because you can always yes. add more. So yeah. you know, if you like, Sheila's just saying, she always has more and then she has to cut round it. But don't, just put less in because you can actually push more sugar paste in and it won't affect yeah, I'll it. Show, I'll show you that in a minute. I'll, yeah. um, put, I'll do that and correct it. Yeah. yeah this, this isn't very good. And I can, I can show you next week as well. So if we do that live next week then, so what we'll do is we'll make some biscuits and then while the biscuits are in the fridge and while they're cooking, we'll actually then um, we'll actually make some decorations and we'll all have a bit of a play together, shall we? 
right, so I've just made a very quick little piping bag. I'm just going to stick these on. So, it's, you know, how little, how big or small you want them's up to you. I'm just going to take a little bit off that. I don't need all that, I don't think. Put that there, and I'm going to put a little bit more icing underneath so it doesn't break, so it doesn't wobble, break, oh, and fall off. <gasps> okay. So we've got some succulent. there, fern leaf, and a little bit sticking up at the top as well, and then some flowers. So the mould that Karen's using at the moment is the brush embroidery mould. So if you want to know the moulds that Karen's used tonight, it's the afternoon tea. So if you go over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, okay, pop in the search button, afternoon tea, nice. brush Thanks. embroidery. <laughs> Wicker Heart, uh, Lottie Lace, Trailing Leaves, and Tropical Leaves. You're going to use, aren't you? <coughs> Sorry, yes. Yeah, so we're on the Trailing Leaves at the moment. Yeah, right. So, what should we have now? And if you want Marion Frost, you need to go to Patchwork Cutters. <laughs> very helpful yeah <laughs> and if there's any molds that you want tonight ladies that I haven't got it got on the website just let me know because I'll be placing an order with Karen tonight she always gets it when she gets home and then we end up having a little chat when she gets home <laughs> so just private message me on messenger and um, I'll get it ordered for you so still go ahead and place your order but ask them to hold it until your molders come in and then I'll bring it in for you I'm usually sat in bed. I hear my phone going. It's Carol putting in an order at half twelve <laughs> at night. It's like yeah, it's happened before now, hasn't it? Yeah, loads of times. <laughs> or in the morning, I generally like really do, early. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. I, I either order at about half past eleven, half past twelve midnight, <laughs> or five six in the morning. Oh gosh. <laughs> I always think it's funny when somebody responds back as well and I go, what are Oh, you yeah, doing? you're shocked. <laughs> yeah, why are you up? Yeah, why are you doing it? They're doing the nursing. I'm doing the same as you, yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah. Never stops, does it? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, sometimes that's the only chance you get, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's peaceful. Yeah. It's like I've got a late night to do tonight, but mm. I'm actually looking forward to it because it's just peaceful. Yeah. Oh, I love doing this. But sometimes I don't know when to stop. You sort of think, no, no, stop, stop, that's enough. No, that's pretty. <laughs> I'll put the three together now. I just wanted to do them in a different colour to the other one. So Elaine Lawson says, Karen, you're so clever. And how do you come up with such amazing ideas? I ask her that every time she comes. <laughs> and I ask Marion as well. <laughs> Go, Marion, how do you sit there and think of them? She's another yeah, one who says yeah. she'll be in bed at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she thinks of something and then she has to get up and go and write it yeah, down. And yeah, that. yeah. Been waking up really, really early this week. So we've got, if you want a cornflower pouch, we sell them as well. They're on our website. Just search cornflower pouch, and we've got them on there. Oh, I like them. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Aren't these pretty? I'll what do. I'll just put the other ones in view as well, so you can see yeah. the difference. Okay, because so they're. Very so, similar, but Sharon, I think you might just have joined us. These are not biscuit cutters, we've actually used a mold. So, I'll get Karen to get show you the mold because I think you've obviously missed the first bit. But if you go back to the beginning of the live when we're finished, you'll see that Karen Davies has actually put the shortbread biscuit mix into the mold. And I'll get Karen to show you it in a minute. So, it's not a cutter, it's actually a biscuit, mold. it's actually a, a, a silicone mold that you can use for your sugar paste, chocolate, or for your biscuits. Now, I'm going to mention the C word again. What's the C word? <laughs> Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Now, wouldn't they look nice? I was wondering where we were going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? I got the C word. <laughs> you know, you know a lot. Yeah, I, don't actually, I, I actually don't like the C word. <laughs> but right. Christmas. is another C right. word. <laughs> Christmas. Right. Wouldn't, wouldn't they look nice? <laughs> wouldn't they look nice with a little bit of holly? Yes, they would. Little point, they tiny, would. you know, poinsettia and that yeah. really nice Christmas, yeah. wouldn't they? Absolutely yeah. lovely, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. So, they're, they're one of my oh, favourites. I'm <laughs> so in for a peaceful night. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry I shocked you. Karen. 
Oh, no. What did you two think? Did you think oh. the same? I didn't did you think the same? What she was <laughs> did you think the same, Kim? I didn't think she was going to use a rude word. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. they're lovely, aren't they? So pretty. They are beautiful. Yeah, right. Okay, what's next? Um, sugar paste. The sugar paste one's taking the handle out. That's what we want yeah. to see, isn't it? Let's do those. So that was a teapot. So this time I'll do the cup. Yeah, show that no. lady that mould. So the lady who didn't see, these are not cutters. This is Karen Davies' new afternoon tea mould. It's not called a tea set. It's called an afternoon tea mould. So if you search on our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, at the top is a search button. Put in afternoon tea and this mould will come up, okay? So you can use it for making your sugar paste decorations. You can put um, your um, cookie dough in, so easy shortbread dough. You can use it, Karen said you can use it for chocolate. And I, I, I just said before, you can't use it for chocolate. And don't know why I've said that, because we've used them for chocolate before, even Karen. <laughs> But you used it for the. I even sent you chocolate. You yes. used it, didn't you? Yeah. It, so yeah. I'm obviously yeah. losing my mind. Yeah. Just and, and we used it for ice and And we oh, and I used ah, your yes. mold for ice yes. and as well. Yeah. 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 Well done, Jay. Yeah. Well done, Jay. So there you go. You can see what comes well out there. <laughs> 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 oh. That's his incognito name. That was over there with that one, wasn't it? Right, sugar paste. Let's make a cup. Right, so corn flour into the mould. Tap out. So I'll just soften this up again. Nice dusky pink. Okay. And then it's quite a big flat area, so I'll flatten that down slightly before I put it in. There's far, I was going to show you what happens if there's not enough, wasn't I? Yes, that's it. Um, it's a bit tricky with the handle. Let me make sure I get the handle in. I don't want to have, not have enough for the handle. Yeah, so that's going to go over the handle. So Margaret Kirk has used isomalt in your moulds yeah. and they look perfect. Oh, brilliant. We had a great time with it the other week in the mm -hmm. kitchen here using the moulds. Right, this, um, it, it's still going to be enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> give, it, give it here, I'll give you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. She wants to know how to I'm give it a bit and push I'll, it in. Yeah, she I'll was watching you. closely and you've got to do it for her. She was what I wanted to know. Don't worry, Sheila, next time. I'm going to do the cupcake next. Okay, because this, I mean, the cup, you want to get the handle out yeah. there. It's funny, when you're using your moulds after a yeah. bit, you do know how much you're putting in, don't you? But I feel I know now. Yes, I mean, no. I do pretty much, yeah. but I'm, I probably don't get it right. I don't get it right for your big stuff, like, like yeah. your, your big yeah. things, but your little ones, yeah. I'm, I'm nearly there. Yeah. I don't get it right, but, you know, all the time. So I'm pressing in really hard there where that area is, and then you start to feel that lump between the cup and the handle. So if you start pushing the paste and taking it off. Do not be using a sharp knife on the moulds, okay? No. They Sorry. are really strong. Yeah. I mean a knife um like oh yeah, like that is fine. Yeah. You know, if I do that Or your little see, mini or your minimum. Yeah, it's yeah. not really gonna cut, but why would you do that? Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah. But if you had a like a sharp vegetable knife or something, you've yeah. gotta be really careful. But they usually it's fine. So you see them just starting to rub away where that is, that handle space. I've got powder colours and all sorts going in this. And then remove any excess paste as you go. Can it miss charger for a minute? Pardon? Can it miss charger? Yeah. So it's still a bit much up there at the top. If you want to, you could use like a little small ball tool just to push it away. Yeah, and see it better with that. And then just take the top bit off. And there, because I've she pressed... puts them in, oh, yeah. pulls them out, she covers them all, pulls them out, and then she cuts around the mold. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you do see people doing lots of different yeah. things, lots of different ways. I mean, you can once you get the right amount. Some of the some of the instructions, well, most of our instructions will have the amount to put into the mold. Mm. You can weigh it first. Let me just ask: Have you started shipping this mold to Southern Ireland yet? Who's stocking it for you in Southern Ireland? Um. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, what the can't stuff for cakes? Stuff for cakes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I knew. I, I, was, I was thinking, no, it's not cake stuff. It's yeah, stuff for yeah, cakes. And get, it's stuff for cakes. Get up. Yeah, yeah. Because I've gone a bit thinner there with pressing in. I'll, I'll sort of put bits so of paste call back stuff in. Stuff for cakes in Southern Ireland have got it. Well, I don't know if they've got it yet, but they. She they can ask them. If she asks them, they'll get it in. 
Okay, so there it is. There's a little bit of paste there I don't want to see, so I'll just use my Dresden tool just to tidy that up a bit. There's a little hair or something stuck on that, but it doesn't matter for now. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, so you Super. see, you get the, the yeah. handle out there. And then you can do what you want on it, put something on it. There's little roses here you could do. You could put a bow, a star, there's a tree. Christmas. There's a tree for <laughs> Christmas. Christmas tree on that. Let's and a little lot. white heart, a little tiny one. Are you lot, have you got a frame of Christmas tree? <laughs> no, no, wouldn't it? I like see I like something like that to be suitable for weddings, birthdays, <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> You're welcome, Carla. Well I've got a Christmas in March. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so that you can do anything with it. I'll show you the spots. I like putting the spots on, kind of like a spotty effect. Yeah. So for that, I'll just do a few. I won't, I'll try not to do too many. You just roll the paste out very, very thinly. Very thin. And what I do, so the spots don't stick together is corn flour the paste okay and then take size four is that i think it's a four yeah size four piping nozzle and cut out spots if they stick if you do that and they stick in the paste just make sure you twist the nozzle as you cut and then when you tap them out they should all be separate because you've got the corn flour yeah. on, so, so they don't stick together i mean it's not sticky paste is it like no. i said but uh, have a go so that's plenty Okay, so now what I do is have a small paintbrush and either take the glue off, off the brush or put it in the bottle and pick a spot up on your brush and then use a cocktail stick to just push it off. Oh god, there's red paint on that brush. <laughs> just realised, just streak of red paint. Oh, let's see if I, have, if I have a clean one. They've probably all got powder on them and all sorts. Why don't you just use your glue brush? It's big. It's a bit uh, it's a bit um big. Right, I'm gonna put them far apart just so it's quick. Oops. Otherwise it'll take forever. And the paste would go thinner than that really as well. I could have rolled it mm -hmm. thinner again. Louise Lyon says, I've just been rumbled. I've asked Toby oh. to pass my phone and yeah. my bank payment notification was on my screen. Ah. <laughs> That's when you can't actually say, well, I did buy it a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's been in the cupboard for Oh, yeah, I've had it ages. I've had it ages. Because yeah, <laughs> I used to buy it, you know, years ago like when I started... I used to love buying the books. Yeah. And Barry used to say, What have you got that for? You've got mm -hmm. enough cake books. Yeah, I know John says that. John used to <laughs> say, to me, do, you, do you actually need any more stuff? Yeah. I went, No, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I can't see that's it, it's alright. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so see, that's nice and easy. Oh. Nice, easy way. And it's nice doing them in all different colours as well, like um, I did on the cookie. I used cookie. to have a post spotty tea set and I loved yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, there's another one. So that's a cookie yeah. with the spots on all different yeah. colours. There's some on the cake one. I'll bring that over again um, and show you that. And then, of course, you just need a quick luster spray. There you go. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Um, right. Now you're going to show Cupcakes with not enough paste. With not enough paste. Right, <laughs> Sheila, get what Ready. Right, let's do a white one. I didn't put that back in the bag, that's a gold. Oh, it's all right, don't worry. don't worry. Right, so corn flour, tap out. Now, let's see, if that was... I think that's going to be about the right size. Yeah, <laughs> so let's be a bit stingy with the paste. <laughs> Um, right, so we just knead it till it's smooth underneath, and when I, I just knead it, push it, paste in with my thumb into the centre, so that side's smooth. Then flatten it out, pop it in, and start to press. I agree with you, Linda Miles. She says her husband says, mm -hmm. "Do you have enough cake making gear?" And I say, "Do you have enough tools and gadgets?" <laughs> End of <laughs> argument. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so there is there isn't quite enough there. So obviously you don't want to add it straight into the top like that because you'll get a mark, you know, you'll see yeah. the join. 
So I tend to sort of still push in the middle like that yes. so it pushes the paste into the edges. Yeah, I did that. So you're lacking paste is the middle there. It's di you know dipping in, but the paste is right up to the sides there and then you can add more into the back, okay? Like that. Right. There you go. That's all you need to yeah. do. Did you get that, Sheila? Okay. Perfect. And same, if it's too much, you saw before what I did, you just keep pushing it into like a, a point if you can and then just take it off with your thumb. So I'll show you um, two, those knives away. two different colours now, if you want to put two different colour pastes in. So let's have is that enough pink here yeah, for the top. We'll have pink in the top. Have you got any sprinkles you want me to use? Sure. Got any nice? Sure. You wanna, do you want to use our Jubilee mix? Just open this cupboard here, Kevin. This cupboard. This one. Yeah. And then see the containers there, yes. right in front of you. Yeah. Jubilee. Uh, let's oh. see where that Jubilee mix is. <laughs> Not it's there. Been hidden. No. <laughs> we'll have to ask Karen where she'd put it. Oh. <laughs> Might be down. Have you had them out today, Karen? Um, Kim. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's on top. Yeah. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, lovely. We keep Shh. nicking Ooh. out of it though. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. Right, so this, I'm going to do the top first, put the paste into the top. So I want it, I want it to be the right, the same, you know, the correct depth at the top of the cake, but I want it to thin down towards the case because that'll go up over the back of it. So if we put that paste in <clears throat> to the top and then take it down each side. like that okay so there I'm pushing it up from the edge so I don't know if the camera can see that it's like yep. going thin okay so I put a very very small amount of glue just in that there in the back there remember ladies less is more not too much <laughs> otherwise I was, it will splodge I out was going to do the it. case gold but because there's silver in that I'm going to do uh, I'll use white and then paint it silver <clears throat> so now the paste for the case and I'm going to take any excess off at the bottom I can't take it off at the top because the pink's there but I'm thinning that edge out to put on so it's going to be nice and level you've just got to be careful when you've already got a colour in that you don't press really hard because it will sort of distort and move. There's only a little bit too much there, so we'll take that off down that way. Okay. And then take out. There we go. So you've got your two colours. I like it like that. Cake. Nice, yes, isn't it? Yeah. Dead easy. Really easy. So this lovely mix we've got. Oh, it's got to have it's got to have a purple ball on the top, yeah, hasn't it? Anyway. It so so this is our Jubilee, so this is sprinkle, uh, Sprinkalicious, and this is our Jubilee in honour of the Queen mix. Mm, very nice. I think, I think I want it sort of sprinkled on, like not completely covered. Yeah. So I think you can spray the top it. first. I yeah. always have to spray, just in case there's any that you can see. a little dish and just drop on that. Ah, brilliant. No waste then, you yeah. see, all the tips. So I've got my edible glue, so we'll start with purple ball on the top mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to sort of brush glue on willy nilly. <laughs> I say get our sprinkle spoon out but I don't know where it is. Sprinkle spoon, <laughs> ooh, and then pop a few bits on, the bigger things I think, yeah. just to pop them in. Yeah. And I can see little stars as well, little, oh, they're cute. And little pearls, white pearls. Just oh. make sure you get some of the bigger pieces. Yeah. I'm not a sprinkles expert. I don't know if this is what you normally do. Oh. But, um, oh, another star. There's another star there. And if you've done that, oh, we can drop those little pearls on it then, can't we? Yeah. I've put some glue on. But I'm still yeah. going to press them a little bit. Yeah. I can't even see where I've put the glue now, that's the problem. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I probably need more, to be honest. Very pretty. There you go. Very 
Mm. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? You can collect all your excess oil in your lid, <laughs> pop it back in. Yeah, that Quite is. Oh, it's down there. There we go. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Really pretty. <coughs> what do you think, ladies? So, um, isn't this mould fabulous? Think of all the ideas. Mm -hmm. I love the I, I love the idea of afternoon tea, though. Yeah. It's my favourite yeah, yeah. thing, afternoon yeah, tea. Yeah. 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 So it's you know that's why the cake the three tier cake there with all yeah. the, lots of different colours on and yeah. everything. I love that. I always remember your a bit of inspiration actually your china collection yeah. too with all the different. That's why I always sets. had loads of afternoon tea in my china oh. collection. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have afternoon tea with yeah. my friends and we used to pick oh. different tea sets. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Something. Is there anything I've missed? Anything I haven't shown you how to do? Uh, I think. don't know. Is there anything we haven't seen? What have you no. not shown us? I think you've shown us everything. Yeah, Lauren. I think I have. Fantastic to yeah. know that then, hasn't it? Well done. And yeah. it makes right. you smile. Eh? You look at them and they make you smile. They do make you smile. Oh, yeah, oh okay. I'll get, shall I explain some of these? Yes. How these were made yeah. and decorated. This cake, sometimes I can pick it up, sometimes I can't. Let's slide it. Yeah, because there's a few different, it just gives you ideas. You know, yes. Yeah. we all like our Do you want the turntable to sit it on? Um, yeah. Kim, do you want to just release the turntable there? Have you got your shoes on it or anything? I've got, I haven't got shoes on that one. Top one? On the top one. Oh, wait a minute. I can move them. Are you okay for a minute? You do it, Kim. Simon's going, no. He's going bang. <laughs> so we've got Karen in the kitchen tonight. Tomorrow we've got Kim Firth in the Make It, Bake It, Decorate It group. She has uh, done a fabulous shoe class today. So those of you who uh, signed up for the shoe class, oh, absolutely you. fabulous. And she's going to show you tomorrow how to make a shoe in the group. So everybody gets an opportunity to learn how to make one shoe. And she'll be here in the kitchen tomorrow. So we'll get back to Karen now. Right, I'll just go, go round the bottom tier first, if Simon can show that. Let's see. So, yeah. So there we are, we've just got a plain pink, don't look at the back that I haven't finished yet, <laughs> I'll hide this bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a plain pink teapot, very easy, very basic with the star on. Oh, they said you've got 20 minutes to spare, can you sing Goldfinger again? Oh, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Everybody would go, they'd all switch oh, off. Oh no, I think they'd stay, Karen. <laughs> they're looking oh, forward dear. to you singing Goldfinger. Oh no, <laughs> nothing like Shirley Bassey, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> yeah, that one I've just piped, little, um, like a little rose. Little yeah. embroidery yeah. things on, yeah. but it's dead simple. It's just like squiggles. <laughs> you know, when you pipe a rose like that, it's just like a squiggle in the middle, and then just very random petals yeah. around it. That's okay, fabulous. so that was quite nice to do. And what have we got on that? Oh, going back the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, because there's another one with the heart on, just plain. Ah, right, that one, spotty teapot. That's a little bit different. That one, it's embossed, so you use your piping nozzle to just press the spots on yeah. and then paint them. Okay, so that's another way of doing the spots very quickly. Um, and then a little rose from that mold. Oh yeah, sorry about this, but I just have to yeah. say, Kit, yeah. Nikki King says, that sounds wrong, wrong. Have you got your shoes on it, Kim? <laughs> Kim sat with her feet up on the turntable. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Kim has been, Kim's been making shoes in the class today and they're drying on the turntable out of Simon's <laughs> way. <laughs> Oh, out of Simon's way. Yeah. Everybody's way. Right. <laughs> oh, they love the mould, Karen. Oh, Honestly, they great. absolutely love it. It is great. gorgeous. Oh, that one's the same. That's embossed again with a piping nozzle just to get the spots. And the same three spots together, patterns on the tablecloth on the other cake. And that one is cut out spots. I've gone a bit spotty, haven't I? That's all the spots. <laughs> but I do like spotty teapots. Right, next tier up. Oh, that's the cup. They all sort of, they were all done in pairs, but... When I was setting this cake up, I was sort of putting them sets together yeah. and then I decided in the end just yeah, put them on random, random nice just thing. randomly. So you'll see they're matching teacups, there you are, you'll recognise them there, the piping, the spots, the stars, everything. Yeah, and it's just nice um, putting them all putting them all together, really arranging them. So as we move up, the cakes start to come in then and the, the biscuits. So some of them have painted the bottom with gold or silver or just left them white, lustered. Um, so like that pink one there is just magic sparkles over it. And then the rose on the top. Oh, two-tone. There two you go. Tone. You can put, you can yeah. mix your icings together yeah. slightly. That looks, I mean, they look really We're nice. i show you how to do that next yeah, week. Yeah, that's a good one. Do it now. You could show I can do it, yeah. yeah. I'll do it, no problem. 
And there's one similar to what I've just done for carols, using sprinkles on it, just put on a few random bits, whatever. And then finally, the top tier has just got three. I just chose three pretty cakes to put on the top. Okay, and you can see the handle there, the proper version. Yeah, <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, there you go, you see the side there, the back. Yeah. Okay, I need to put more on it, don't I, to finish it off. Looks great. Okay, so if I show you a two-tone cupcake top, yeah. Move this out of the way. And that'll finish off the dem then. Thank That's you, it. Kim. I do with her every week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can be so Yeah, she does. <laughs> we keep him busy when she's here. Yeah. Aww. Right, let's do it a pink, bright pink in it so um, it shows up well. Pink and white. I mean, there's several ways you can do this. I think that one, I think what I did, I just rolled a sausage of paste and made it thin at one end mm -hmm. and then made another one at one end and then I just sort of did that with it before I pressed it in uh -huh. but there's other ways you could do it you could do it like let's, oh yeah. let's say just cut pieces so you get them more striped have you done a flooding one? What's the flooding one? Flood. You can't flood royal icing yeah. into the mould. You can flood on top yeah. of the cookie. Yeah. See, so like that one. That's flooded. Yeah, you'd have to, once your like, cookie's mm. cooked, once your <laughs> cookie is cut, cooked and yeah. dried, yeah. then you can use royal icing yes. on it and flood. Yeah, that just had an edge piped on it. I mean, they do rise slightly, so they, you've got to watch the knot too rounded because then if you, you flood oh. your icing in and it's quite soft it might run so you've got to be careful with your edge your edge on them okay but it does work doing it that but you can't put royal icing into the mold okay so you can do this oh that's not long enough I'm not doing very well there yeah you can do something like that and then press it in uh, yeah, let's do the top first. I'm going to push that out to the edge because there's too much there. If I push it up, it'll Just put maybe. The camera. Oh, sorry, ruin the uh, pattern. <laughs> You're getting further and further yeah, away. Yeah, <laughs> I forget the camera's here. <laughs> we all have a habit of pulling everything towards us, don't we? Yeah. And the more you fill your space, yeah. you end up yeah. sort of... <laughs> Poor Simon just has to chase you around. Yeah. Room, that's all. <laughs> I am thinking of you, Simon. Oh, I've ripped it a bit there, so I'll put back. Hey. Yeah. I know. We know he's awake. <laughs> so, ladies, if you want to buy any of the moulds tonight, our website is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. As you come down the, the home page, there's a little um, tab there that says FB Live Wishlist. Drop into there, drop into March, and in March you'll see all the lives that we've done this month. Karen is there, and um, you can see all her moulds, or you can go to brands. Don't forget the clearance box. I filled the clearance box with lots of goodies as well, so lots of special offers on in there. So uh, please enjoy shopping if you want to. Mm -hmm. I think I've dripped the glue there. That was yeah. a mistake. <laughs> and if there's a mould that we Sticky. haven't got that you want, place your order, put it on click and collect, and then ask me to get it. It'll be in the warehouse on Friday. Carrots Thursday tomorrow. Karen will dispatch and we'll get it Friday and we can dispatch them. Just put a bit more paste in the back there. I think I've dripped glue and I haven't noticed, so I just hope it comes out okay. Woo. There you go. Yes. That looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. That does look nice, that one. Looks like raspberry ripple. Yeah, doesn't raspberry it? ripple. Yeah. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Disappearing. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah that does look really nice. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, brush the bottom, the case, with some gold. Oh, ooh, lovely. And a little quick spray. Ooh. <laughs> Karen, do you put weights on of sugar paste for your moulds? You do for your um, your big with, your, yeah. your big covering moulds, don't yeah. you? What they're called? Um, yeah, What's with they most of like them. 
Um, oh yeah, like yeah. any of the side designs. Yeah, I don't some of them do it on these. Do you? Some of them I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't got the leaflet with me, but I do try for most of them. Sometimes some of them are too small. Like I wouldn't yeah. put the weight for the rows. Yeah. Because yeah. once you're getting down to one gram and two gram, yeah, it's a big yeah. difference yeah. on something small. Um, yeah. So that's um, that's that needs Carol's sprinkles on again, doesn't yeah. it, or something like that? Some little sprinkles. I've got some plain pink here. They're not. You probably have. You got those like just plain pink. No, I've got, you've got, I've got some pink ones on there. Uh, you just have a little. What do you want to put on? Just um. Why did? I only want um. Just some pink. Yeah. Just some pink. Little pink ball, even just yeah. one thing, anything. 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 Do. Yeah. I mean, you can use the. There's things here you can use, like the roses, the bows, like I said before. Strawberry would look nice, maybe. Yeah. But I'm just thinking now. We just need. Like a pink one. So they'll probably look nice with a few. Let's do a few. You're getting giddy now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying my sprinkles. <gasps> Gold. <laughs> Gold. Ooh. 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 These are nice. Ooh, yes. Nice big ones, aren't they? Yeah. I'm getting carried away now. Um, Are you trying to do a Christmas tree there, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Beginning to look like one, isn't it? It's beginning to look like Christmas. No, no, no. No, no, it's not, honestly. That'll do. I'm not going to go too mad. Yeah, so. Whoop. There you go. Okay. Oh, no, I want more. I want more. You want more, on? Yeah. If you've got less, there's more. Yeah, I just want some of these whites. It's fine yeah. white now. Whites, we're going to actually. Just a few. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, so the, like this, you can do them so different, so many different ways. Well, I think you've shown As us you loads see. of designs tonight. I don't think nobody can say they don't know what to do with this mould. Do you all agree? <laughs> you all now know what to do with this mould. So this mould, you can use it for your sugar base. You can put your um, easy shortbread in. I'll go and rename the recipe. You can put your chocolate in. Karen uses our chocolate. I completely forgot, actually, about using chocolate. Mm -hmm. I, I thought you couldn't use chocolate. But um, as Margaret Kirk says, your isomalt in there. So if you want to do some nice see-through um, decorations on there you can use them mm -hmm. so what a great night it's been so can we give everyone a big round of applause for karen she's worked very hard thank you kim for joining <laughs> us thank you simon on camera oh, and thank it's you, lovely Carol. having you here so when do you think oh. we're going to get you back in again then kim as you know they love having kim you in the kitchen <laughs> sorry <laughs> karen <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to get you back in the kitchen then karen um another two or three weeks yeah Something let's like do that. that then yeah well, I'm going on holiday. Should we come in between? Oh, yeah. Should we come? Yeah. Do you want to come while I'm away, or do you want to come? Um, I don't mind. Middle? Let me I'll look at my calendar and see. I've got a few things right. coming up. We're we'll we'll we should be back stuff. here within the month. Yeah. Yeah. So Aww, very good. So good. everyone, thank you for joining us. Enjoy doing shopping on the website. Remember, it's a sugar and crumbs platform. Sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. That's why Karen's here in the kitchen tonight. Fantastic. All right then. Oh, thank Bye. you, Carol. Thanks. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.